get to know the characters in Sonic Boom. Today's character is Knuckles. <laughs> Knuckles is the brawn. Wait. But is it all hard-headed and strong? He has a soft spot in most of this. Like, <laughs> abilities, wall climbing, burrowing, incredible strength, also jumping in infinitely. Legs I'm working confused. out smashing things. It Just doesn't like day now. Yeah, it doesn't mention the... Like, that's fan-made if it says dislikes leg day. <laughs> yeah. But that doesn't mention the infinite jumping in Sonic Boom. Yeah. Yeah, Jake retweeted that. <laughs> it's from Sonic the Hedgehog at Sonic <laughs> underscore Hedgehog. And then the rap crap out. This movie is so good. <laughs> You're mannequins. Not mannequins. Well, how would you describe them? Pillow people. Pillow people. And box person, Sumiko Chan. Box person, Sumiko Chan. That's right. So I'm going to be testing something today. Testing something? Which is... I, Every podcast, I'm very quiet. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, especially comparative to you. Oh, like I speak louder? Yeah. Yeah, that's because I'm a noisy person. So, today I'm definitely going to try and remember to speak up a bit. Uh, just because of your movement at that point, I thought you were going to say, I'm just going to try and uh, be closer to the mic the whole time. Well, that's part of it, and that's why I will end up speaking louder, and it won't be a problem. You're actually getting quieter as you get closer to the mic, you realize. You douchebag. See, it's going to end up exactly the same, because the closer you get, the quieter you got. It'll be some weird ratio. It'll work out in the end, Jason. If the math doesn't lie. So you'll end up exactly the same as you always are? Precisely. Yeah. Anyways, so, sup? You know, just, uh, got a bunch of pirate metal, played a bunch of Minecraft... Okay, have you ever played on a server on Minecraft? Nope. Just land with me. Yep. Yeah. Okay, a, I think it was like a year ago or something now. It's been a long time. But anyways, a long time ago, probably before the full release of Minecraft, you, when you connected to a server, you had to put in like the IP address, and it just you had to put it in every time. And then they changed that, and now you can like save... Uh, uh, IP address, and then you can name the server, and it automatically pings it and tells you how many players are online, how good your connection is, and all that good stuff before you even connect to it. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of nice. But, <laughs> yeah. You inadvertently know the old IP address? Oh, no. No. <laughs> nope. Um, I, uh... thought that's, no, that's where the story was of, going. No, one of my uh, co-workers, though, he made a server for us to play on, uh, us, uh, Guys from work, and oh, oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> Thank you, Travel. Uh, I just really okay. So I uh, because I I just realized I can't. I'm not supposed to say the name of my place of employment. Uh huh. So um, it's part of what I named the server. Did but, you just catch it? Yeah, I just caught it. I just That's realized good. that now, but... Because the last episode yeah, was last a episode mess was of a editing. Mess. <laughs> Crap, I said blap. I haven't listened to that, actually. No I one has. I don't know what you did with, I don't know what you did with sure that. I'm pretty sure no one has. I, I don't know what you did with that. Ever since we moved to the site, mostly because we're off iTunes, I think is the thing. Yeah, we need to get back on iTunes. Yeah. We'll figure that out today. So you say. I say it because we should do it. We should. That doesn't mean we necessarily will. Jason, the we last may, time I we said we should try. do something, we did 90% to setting up the website. We may try. <laughs> that doesn't mean we will succeed. Anyways. Have faith. Okay. Anyways, so I named it, uh, what was the name of our... A business, business Depot Supplies Off Office. Retailer Store. Place. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Uh, Minecraft plays. Place. <laughs> plays. So you. So. Building name plays. Yeah. Business name plays. Yeah. That, but okay. That's it. That's the name. Ha 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 ha! Are you gonna create a Good let's joke. play group with all the people that work there? No. That'd be weird. <laughs> that would be fun. That would be really That'd be fun. fun. But it also kind of be weird. Yeah, it's it's also on the Yogscast complete mod pack. 
So we have a lot of mods, which is fun. I haven't I haven't played modded Minecraft for quite some time, so I'm it's it's new and interesting again. So yeah, that's pretty much what I did last night. But bueno, bueno, bueno. What did I do last night? I cried myself to sleep after I played Minecraft till twelve thirty or so. Yeah, you were up surprisingly late for you. Yeah. I know, I. but you scared me when you came home. I thought you were my dad for some reason. <laughs> That's why I called you dad uh, either this morning or later last, last night. Father? But yeah, no, like, you came downstairs and you were like, oi, oi. And I, for some reason... That's just, our code word for hello, Jason. Yeah, I know, but just for some reason, the split second I heard your voice, I was like, why is my dad here? <laughs> or something <laughs> like that. I, I was just like, dad? Dad? <laughs> Father? And then I was like, oh no, it's Travel. Right. He My lives real here. real father? <laughs> no, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I kind of live here. Yeah. I kind of come home at midnight or later. I, I also was like, I knew that you were going to be getting home soon, and I was aware of that, except I think that there was like a good half an hour span between when I last looked at a clock and when you got home, so mm -hmm. I didn't realize that it was about time for you to be getting home. That's partially why. Also, I didn't hear you come in because I was listening to music and had my headphones on. So you like came downstairs and I just kind of really, really quietly heard oi oi. And I'm like, Dad? Did Travel leave Spaced On in the background again? Do, 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 do. That, that's where I get that from. A character in the TV show Spaced says oi oi. Okay. I feel like I should know what space it is, but I don't. It's a TV show. Yeah, I with, got that. With the, the guys who made Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. Okay. It, it was the TV show that kind of brought them together. Oh, interesting. Yeah. It's an awesome show. Cool. We should watch it. I'm always up for watching Spaced. You have a lot of things you want to watch, though. Yeah. Speaking of which, I finished Madoka Magica last night. Did you? Yeah. Holy crap, I haven't even started. It well, was, I mean, I was halfway through already. It was like but... six episodes. Yeah. I watched three the night before, and then three also, last Also, what night. side are you using to watch it? Okay, because... <laughs> I don't remember it. Okay, because I tried to find it this morning on one of my sites, and I couldn't find it. So. The site I was using stopped working. I was also watching Monster on that site, so I wrote that down on the paper. Yeah, I saw that you wrote down Monster. Because the site stopped working for whatever reason. Do you have like this site? I actually like still, that site. Still open on your uh, thing or anything? Also, did you watch it dubbed or subbed for the last six? I watched it dubbed, and no, I closed the tab when I was done. Did you delete your history? Yes, I'm gonna have to edit that out. Yeah. Because the only F word on this podcast, Jason, is fun. And friends. And farts. <laughs> and flying. And Fernanand. And Furniture. Okay, there's a lot of F-words <laughs> on this podcast, but that is not one of them. <laughs> okay, so you'll have to edit that one out. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, you need to uh, find that site out for me so that I can watch the rest of it too, because it's not on my normal site. And yeah, I... it's surprise. It's weird. I don't know how that should... Well, that okay, one okay. site that we had... The main like... thing... Is, a half year, and then they quit. Is, um, I, hated it. I need to talk to Ricky about it, who her and Andrew introduced us to the show. That, well, um, introduced you to the show. Which then you uh, was like, hey, let's watch this. Well, and then... Hey, Whatever, Jason. You weren't watching it. I wasn't. So I'm going to say she and Andrew triggered it. She triggered you to watch she it. She triggered me, which, which triggered, triggered you. triggered me. So it's all a train. But she didn't introduce me to it. I already knew about it. Whatever. It's different. Man. <laughs> Fight me, bro. Ow. Mario, you suck. Stop making Star Bomb references. How can I not when the new album's so awesome? I wouldn't know. Did you ever listen to the last one in full? The last album? Yeah. No. They put it up on YouTube. Okay. But, the, of course, people put up. But there's an official one that Ego Raptor put up, Neat. like, last week. Cool. Uh, the last one or the new one? Last one. Oh. Interesting. And then the new one, which is awesome. 
we should do some introductions. Yeah, we're at 10 minutes. That's a suitable time for introductions. Yeah. All right, uh, Travell, edit in our intro right here. Animated classics, holiday movies, and much more. The 25 Days of Christmas, December 1st through the 25th on ABC Family Channel. Still don't need to create silence. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why we do that. <laughs> I don't know either, because we don't know what to say after that, I guess. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the Hardly Working Hippies breakfast podcast well and by breakfast i mean i'm having coffee and that's the only thing i've eaten today well it, it's by breakfast he means it's noon but he got up about an hour ago so yeah and uh you have yeah. breakfast yet yeah actually i had a bowl of cereal i'm out of good. milk yeah i saw that i, I was am good. Putting I was off, about, i'm putting off buying food <laughs> i was about to say you could use mine and then i remembered <laughs> oh wait no you can't I've been putting off buying food. I don't know why. I got a sweet deal on my Mountain Dew. It was like a dollar something off. Is there any left? No. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Crap. I was I was like, for some reason when you said, is there any left, I was uh, thinking like, have you drank it all? Uh. That's why I said no. <laughs> yeah, it's still like half, half of it's still there. Exactly half of it, actually. Six cans. You drink a lot of Mountain Dew. Uh-huh. <laughs> and? And I don't think you realized how much you drank. Well, I do like realize. the other day. I do realize how much I drink. But what happens is basically, because when I open a can, I like drink it all within a, the period of ten minutes. Yeah. I cannot make soda last. That's me. That's, that's not just soda. <clears throat> I just drink drinks fast. Yeah, same with my water, too. Especially when I'm watching TV, which I do a lot of recently. <coughs> okay, that, that is was way gross. better. Edit it out. Cool. So you watch TV now? More. Well, I watch anime, same yeah. as I always did. But on the TV? With Apple TV, which the is thing a wonderful is really thing. good. It's cool. Yeah. Giggity, giggity. So I'm Travell Basque. And I'm Jason Bateman. And this is the Hardly Working Animes co- Podcast. I think we already said that. I said breakfast podcast last time. That's true. Is that, is, are we just going to keep <laughs> renaming it today? This is the Hardly Unofficial Title Podcast. Hardly an unofficial title? Yeah. So it is an official title? Exactly. Whoa. Hi. I'm actually doing well. I uh Are you? I yeah. Thanks for asking. Are you really? I noticed that you didn't ask. So I just I thought I thought for you and I filled in the space. <laughs> okay. Well uh, I, I know that you're really enjoying having Sumiko Chan around. Sumiko Chan's awesome. To keep you company. Yeah. Yeah. I legitimately talk to her sometimes. I legitimately <laughs> do as well. <laughs> See, it's normal. Yep. Well It's normal to talk to a lady made out of cardboard with a face drawn on and a seductive message. Yeah. And an apron. Uh, it's part of her personality, though. Yeah. As is the uh, thing of ice, iced tea powder in her head. I made some iced tea last night. It was harder to disassemble that from her brain than I would have expected. <laughs> really? Because basically, all you should have had to do was take the uh, tea towel off and then grab it out of the side, and then the apron would have fell down, but whatever. Yeah. But, uh, it was more... Disassembling actually wasn't that bad. Putting it back together took a bit of time. Really? Just getting it right. Oh, okay. You didn't take me long. <laughs> well, I mean, except the arms. The arms were a problem. That's why the iced tea's in there in the first place. Well, half half because of the apron and also half because the arms would go like this otherwise. Oh. I tied them together with string, but you know. Oh. You put a lot of effort into this project, which it some It took me people... an hour and a half. Some people may not understand what we're saying if they don't follow us on Twitter. Well, check out my tweets on Twitter. Or I'll just give a lay down. Basically, one night, well, I was... Sunday night. 
Is that really important, Jason? Yeah. So Sunday night, uh, <laughs> Travel was at work late, and I was bored. So, and that morning, I'd had the idea to put, like, a make a person type thing out of cardboard boxes and put it outside his room so that when he got up, because I had to leave before he left. So, or before he was up, rather. So, I was... I was thinking then then when he gets up, he'll, like, open his door and, oh, hello there. But I kind of changed my mind. That would be followed by a girly scream. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, But I kind of changed my mind. And instead of building a box person outside his room, I thought, what if I put it in the kitchen instead? Then I can put an apron on it and put, like, a cliched anime message on it. So I did that. But I didn't actually do that first. What I did first is I went down to his room and built some pillow people. Uh, so, and then I went upstairs and I built okay. the box person who he, who he is now named Sumiko-chan. Yeah, she's our new roommate. Yep. Anyway, so, and then you came home. And was terrified. Yeah. Because the lights were off and there was a humanish figure in front of, or in the doorway. <laughs> So, yeah. And Jason is sometimes creepy. Wouldn't be honestly surprised if he was standing there waiting for me to notice. <laughs> yeah, I would have done that. Well, I probably would have had lights on usually, but... I mean, there was that one time... Let's not talk about that, though. What? Uh, the one time when you came home and you saw the lights on, but then I turned them all off and I was just watching you as you came in. Oh, that time. Yeah. That That wasn't really that much of a thing. Yeah. I know. Anyways. Terrell, cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, continuing on. So basically, as I, far as I understand it, you like came in, got terrified, got mad, wrote me a note, stuck it on Sumiko chan's face, and went down to your room. Mm hmm. At Where which point you walked into your room and, and saw just... two more people. <laughs> and wrote another note and st- lapped it on my door. And it's still there. Yeah. You should probably take that down. Why? Because why? I don't, I don't really appreciate getting up every morning and seeing <laughs> you. Edit that out. <laughs> you can have to bleep that. But yeah, that's 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 what I have to deal with every morning. Know what I regret? Nothing. I regret nothing. Not saying, not writing like foop you to foop the you. foopening. The foopening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's my only regret in life. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then you must be living a good life. Sure. Dun, 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 dun. Anyways. Um, I was going to talk about something. What were you going to talk about? Is it on your notepad? No, well, there is that, but uh, that's not what I was going to bring up. Okay. The notepad's about the best ofs. Okay, yeah. Which, which is just those. some talking points to bring up. Yeah, okay. Just to get in preparation. Yeah. So I basically wrote down all the movies I've seen this year that I think are up for consideration. Have not. I, I'm not doing that because I don't know what I've seen this year. Well, we went over hopefully, this. hopefully this will establish some things for you. Basically, the only movies I've seen this year were in theaters, though. So if you wrote down all the ones we saw in theaters, then I'm good. Okay. And you know what? I'm thinking, should we keep the the thing you've seen this year category? So, like, something that's old, but you saw it this year? Yeah. No. We should get rid of it. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. Just the thing is, with that one, it's... No, let's really, get rid of it. Yeah, because what's open. really the point of having it... And the only reason I think I wanted to include it was because for the video games, I've only... Played no, never games. mind. i played a couple games this year. Yeah, you... Just realized. More than me. Like, three. Yeah. That's it, though. You had, like, Smash Bros. and Pokemon and... and I think oh. Bravely Default was this year. Uh, was it? I think I so. I thought I'll double check. last year in school, but maybe not. Maybe Link Between Worlds was this year, too. Don't know. Anyways. Anyways... Moving on. It was mostly because I wanted to include Heavy Rain and Last of Us. Because they'd win. I don't know about that. But, yeah. Anyway. 
Tell me about your movies. Okay, so we're getting rid of the... Yeah, that was dumb. The, um... Thing. Where you get... Where it's something you've seen this year that was older than this year. Yeah. Because... It wasn't... Didn't come out this year. Okay. So you're, and, gonna, uh, you're gonna dominate the video games category? Because I haven't played any brand new video games, I don't think. Unless Titanfall is this year. No, it's not. I didn't think so. Unity. Yeah, I played like a whole 20 minutes of that. <laughs> Okay, Unity wins the end. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, I guess Minecraft is still getting updates. Does that count? Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll argue about it. And I'm thinking of... We should do, like, a TV category. Just, like, in general. That includes anime. Okay. TV and anime together. Well, I, th- I think that works. Sure. Because otherwise, I'd have the TV category and you'd, and have, you'd have... And I'd have the anime. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So at this point, we got movie of the year, we got TV show of the year, and we have video game of the year. Yeah. Video games. Video games. And also book of the year. But we don't read books, so I've read, forget that. No, I haven't finished a book this year. I started reading Gone Girl. I, I don't think I've read a book <laughs> Oh, I read this year. Heart of the Strain, but I guess that didn't come out this year. Oh, well. It got anyway. made into a TV show this year, which I still haven't watched. Neat. But... So Guillermo the, del Toro. So did The Flash. I watched that first episode. Was horribly... Well, not horribly disappointed. It's The Flash. <laughs> was uh, was not pumped. Never returned back to it. That pretty much sums it up, doesn't it? The effects were not great. The plot seemed to be ripped from Misfits. But, you know. Yes. Misfits is a, I know it's Misfits, a British actually. You do. It's the, it's the British TV show about the kids who get superpowers from some weird storm or something. Yep. <laughs> so basically The Flash, but in Britain. Yep. And they swear a lot. What? Bloody hell. But more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bloody hell. <laughs> Go start it, Jason. Well, I'll edit that out. <laughs> okay, so here's some movies I wrote down for consideration. <laughs> okay, let me see. Okay, I was going to read them off, and then we could talk about them, or you can just rip that from my hand. Have not watched that. Have watched that. Have watched that. Have watched that. Have not watched that. Watch that. You don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that... Oh, haven't watched that. Watch that. Didn't watch that. No. You are... No. Yes. This is is exciting, Jason. Okay. But now that we've I talked was... about movies for a while, kid, 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 What? I need to watch the Lego Movie. Oh, I really want to watch it. The Lego Movie? Yeah. It's everybody I've talked to says it's awesome. It's because everything is awesome. Yeah, I know. That's when you're part of the I... team. Yeah. Thank you, Travel. I was trying to remember the next lyric. I think it repeats everything is everything awesome. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool. Oh, I screwed it up. Everything is cool? Yeah, everything is cool when you're part of the team. Yeah, you messed up. Yep. I know that, and I didn't even watch the movie. Yeah, there's a... Wait, there's... How to Train Your Dragon 2 was this year? Yep. Whoa. Okay, that feels like a long time ago. What what month was that? That would have been... May. Mm, I think June. June. Damn, that was like only half a year ago, but it feels like a lot longer. Yep. Damn. Not here. I promise you, revenge! Hey, Jake. So, uh, <laughs> um, I saved, like, an audio file of, like, the best, of a video called The Best Shadow Lines. Oh my gosh. And when I edit the podcast, normally I, like, delete the stuff I use for the editing. Like, I just keep the file. Yeah. That There's certain clips that I keep, because I know I'm going to use them again, <laughs> such as The Best Shadow Lines. Yeah. Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? <laughs> Don't touch it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that game. Okay, we're done here. Okay, <laughs> let's go movies. Home. Movies to discuss. Mocking Jay. Haven't seen it. You haven't seen it. It was it was good really discussion. good. So discuss. Uh, Interstellar. Um. Probably the more the, you think about it, the worse is your opinion of it is. Honestly, it's like the most flipped movie I am on. Cause yeah, because like, when you I loved saw it, it, when I saw it, I loved it. When I thought about it, I was like, eh, maybe. And now that I think about it more, I'm like, oh, yeah. actually, 
Yeah. I, I flip on it almost well, constantly. Basically, it's the 2014 version of 2001 A Space Odyssey, as far as I can tell. Well, that's really only near the end. Uh, uh, Prometheus... <laughs> Prometheus was a better 2001 than Interstellar is as a 2001 type movie. I would know. You would know, because you definitely saw that. Definitely. A hundred <laughs> times. And I don't care what people say. Prometheus is a good movie, even if they have plot holes. But guess what? The plot holes are in the deleted scenes, so... Pfft. Sorry, people don't like Prometheus, and I like it a lot. Yes. Anyways, yeah, I don't know. It was good. Yeah. Interstellar was nice. At, at this point, I agree. It was very good. <laughs> um, yeah, it was. It was a long movie, but it didn't feel long. So. Mm -hmm. There was a, that says a lot. There's um actually no. There's only one more, one other movie on here that was a long movie that didn't feel long. And that's Gone Girl. And that's Gone Girl. Oh my God, Gone Girl was so good. <laughs> it was something. You did you have interest in seeing it? Nope. You just kind of went. Yeah. It and was just kind of like Tra Travel's super psyched about this, and he wants me to go. I guess, eh, why not? I have nothing better to do. Oh, uh, it wasn't necessarily want you to go. Well, you oh, that sounds. You bad. asked me a couple times. I think. Did I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was more than one time you asked. I think me. it was basically, I want to. I'm gonna go see this. Do you want to come along? As far as I remember. Of course it is. I don't know. Anyway, it was it was good. Uh, okay, people hate Ben Affleck. I don't know why. Maybe because I missed, like, the period of when he was a... Everybody hated him. Oh. I thought you were like going to say of when he was a porn star. Yeah. I'm gonna love yeah. Him. Uh, why would people hate him then? I don't know. <laughs> um, Maybe they're just jealous. I don't know. It's some weird... Basically, in, like, the last year, I watched a bunch of Kevin Smith... Or, not a bunch. I basically watched all of Kevin Smith's movies. and All of them. Uh, in his... That's uh, where Ben Affleck kind of got some of his early roles. Um, anyways, yeah. I just kind of love all those movies, so I find it like really hard to hate him after watching those. Or not like him. He's pretty yeah. likable. Yeah. And he's Batman now. And he's Batman, which is... I When's think... that coming out? Mm -hmm. Never. No, 2016. Oh. That's a long ways away. Yep. Also, what's that show that's coming out in 2015 that everyone's super pumped for? Show? Or t movie? movie? Or, okay, you're movie. gonna have to be more descriptive, it's a movie. Jason. It's a movie. It's Avengers. Star Wars. It's Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> How do you forget that? I don't know. Avengers <laughs> is coming out next year? Yeah. Avengers 2? Yeah. No, Avengers 4. <laughs> <laughs> Avengers 2, The re Return of Avengers. Avengers 4, The Search for Avengers 2 and 3. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoa, Spaceballs. Yeah. yeah. Slash Star Trek? That, I don't Slash know. Star Trek? What, it, that's where the joke came from. Is it? Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock. Uh... Okay. And then Spaceballs 2, The Search for More Money. Or <laughs> Spaceballs 3, The Search for Spaceballs 2. Yeah. Okay, uh, Big Hero 6. Big Hero 6 was good. It was really good. Oh. Um, if I can... The only thing I can complain about is the opening is kind of hokey. It's like, oh, we love science. Science is awesome. Oh, yeah. Let's all be scientists and do science-y things. <laughs> That's kind of what the opening feels like. But once... And then once, there's tragedy. But after the tragedy, it gets pretty deep and pretty good. Yeah, deep, bro. Deep. And it's funny. Yeah. Fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la. Um, uh, Nightcrawler. You didn't see this, but also not about the X-Man. Uh, it's a really, really cool movie with Jake about Gyllenhaal. An not about an X-Man. I, I said that. Okay. Not about an X-Man either. Aww. Sorry, no axe salesmen in Nightcrawler. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wasn't Axeman Future Past this year? That was. I saw that. Yeah. It's not on your list. No. I didn't like it that much. No, I like it. But these things are better, though, in my opinion. 
Okay, by the way, I, I didn't write way, every single way, movie I saw this year. By, on this by list. the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, hold it. <clears throat> I'm stopping this right now for a second. Um, are we for the best of? Are we picking our favorite or the one we think is the best? We're picking our favorite. Okay, because that's that's a big difference. Yeah, but in these. <sighs> I don't know. For me, it's always been like an opinion thing. When the people say like, well, it's technically the best. Whatever. I don't care about that. Everybody can say it's a tech... As far as like the technical goes, it's a great movie and it's the best. And it's... But... Well, not that. More just like when they talk about their opinion and why they like it, that makes more sense to me. When it's a favorite and not just, oh, it's technically the best movie due to all these technical factors. Yeah. Speaking of uh, how to tell if a movie is good or bad, why are you doing this to me like that? Uh, I, I, I saved a, I think I saved a picture about it recently. Is this yesterday. Uh, so great for the audio podcast? Is, yeah, because it's words. I didn't save it. Dang. Okay. Well, well basically, it was uh, one of those little flowchart things where you like follow the lines. So it was... Uh, how to tell if a movie's crap? Okay. Uh, there was one question. Is it the Emperor's New Groove? <laughs> yes, good movie. No, it's crap. <laughs> nice flow chart. Yeah, it's very nice. Um, okay, Nightcrawler. Good movie. Cool. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. That was fun. Really fun. It was a ride. Really funny. It was, it was if you good. think about it, sometimes it's kind of eh. Yeah. Like, the, like looking back on it, it's not one of those things that it's like, oh, that was so good. Like the ending to All Noah Zero, like that was brilliant. Anime you watched? Yes. Okay. Just clarifying. Yeah. Anyways, it actually that's probably gonna be on my TV thing shows for, uh, on on the top one of the higher up ones on my TV shows that I, from this year. Gotcha, so. gotcha. Also, the new season's coming out in the winter season, and the first season came out in the summer season, so that's really close together, which is interesting. Like Korra, which I still need to catch up on. Yeah, Korra, which came out, like, summer season, fall season. <laughs> there was a week-long break between them. It was, like, no time. Yeah, like, there wasn't a break. It was smoothly from, I think, one ep- one season to the next. It was just the next week there was it, a new episode again. It was not that close. <laughs> I think it was, actually. No. If if it wasn't it that, was, then there was one week between it. It was like a month, Jason. <laughs> it wasn't. You're wrong. Anyways. I'm, I'm looking um, this up now. Okay. Fine. I'm going to continue talking. Continue talking. I'll continue talking with you, but... Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. Really fun movie. It's a... Uh, it's entertainment. Know what I like about it? It shows that Marvel... Okay, we are in currently... Whoops. Good job. We're currently in a great time. A world of sequels. No, not necessarily just that. Although, who doesn't love a sequel? I mean, The French Connection 2, am I right? Jaws 4. The Revenge? Am I right? Oh, you're right. Anyways, still waiting for Jaws 5. And I'm not talking about Jaws 5, Cruel Jaws, that Italian movie. Just don't need to see. Good one, Travel. Anyways. But no, basically is... um, We're getting to that point where we've had all these uh, mega movies with lots of money pumped into them and then them just kind of being crap. And now it seems like studios, or at least the big leagues like Disney and Marvel, they're not letting that happen so much. It is a... I'd say it's like a... I don't know. Like a three to one ratio or... I don't know. For like four out of five blockbusters to come out are good. Yeah. <clears throat> and I feel like that ratio is much higher this year than it has been lately in the last couple. It seems like they're putting much more effort into these movies, which is awesome. Well, wow, there was a lot more time between the core than I thought there was. What do you got? It was like August all of September. August 22nd to October 3rd. Yeah, so like a month. That's, That's it did not feel like that long. Jason, wow. a month is not that long. <laughs> it isn't. Well, but still, 
That was the month Especially that I... between seasons, a month is not that long. Of course, that was the month I had no job. So it feels lo- it felt like a long time to me. <laughs> okay, uh, the next one I wrote down, which you could not decipher, is Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Oh. Yeah, I didn't see that, so... Yeah, because I just wrote D-O-T. Yeah, I, I saw, like, Dot Pot A, and I was like, what are Pata. you on? The Pato movies. Pata. I'm on pot, Jason. <laughs> it's a code. I'm seeking help. <laughs> okay. I can find help at Dot Pot. <laughs> dot C-A. Anyways. What's the website for Amazon Dot C-A? Amazon Dot C-A. Thanks. Don the Planet of the Apes was awesome. It was probably the best blockbuster this year. Probably. I agree with you, Travel. Yes, you know, because you definitely saw I that. I definitely saw that a hundred times over, just like Prometheus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know these movies inside and out. Like the back of my fist. It's a surprise that I wrote this list and you didn't. It, I, I know them like my back. I know them as well as I know my back. Yeah. That is not at all. <laughs> uh, Snowpiercer. It's a really cool movie. Yeah, you were a lot of people were talking day. about it. A lot of people have been talking about it, and it's and uh, it's uh, it's uh, oh uh, never do that again. I will. Sadly, yes. Eventually. So good. Oh, so anyway, it's no. so good, so good, so good. Why, Travel? This is okay. why. Well, it was uh, made by Korean. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, I don't know where you're taking. I don't Mr. know where Bell. I was taking that either. I think I was trying to say like it was a more independent movie, which I think it was technically. But basically, it was made by um, who would it be? It was. Uh, I hope I say this right. I think it's Bong or Shu Ho. Yes. Or is it Shu Ho Bong? I can't remember. I don't know. I feel bad. He made this other movie I like called The Host. He's a Korean filmmaker. Neat. It's got a really good cast, uh-huh. and it's pretty inventive. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. How to Train Your Dragon 2. Oh my gosh. Why? 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 Why what? Why with the dragons? <laughs> See, we we okay. talked about this extensively when we, we had, saw that movie. Went, after that movie, we had an extensive argument about... The big white dragon. At the end of the movie. Well, like, not, not just at I the end. I can't remember like what it was through. called... It was, what are they it was called? the King Dragon or whatever. No, that wasn't the name. No, it wasn't Anyways, the name, but that's what it was. Basically, it was the King of the Nest. The and it was dumb. I want to call it Leviathan, but that's not right. No, that's, basically that's... the big monster dragon that controls all the other dragons. There, were a, a second one appeared and had the same design, just different color. And Jason barely different color. Whatever. And Jason was like, "Well, that sucks," and I said, "It made sense." It doesn't though. It does too. Okay, no, I, I'm. I'm gonna, no, we're not going to rekindle. This, I'm just going to. I'm, I'm just going to voice one thing. Okay, two things actually. Okay, one, the first dragon on the good guys team, uh, never actually used that same ability of the mind control or whatever. Therefore, it didn't have to be the same dragon. It could have had a different design and had the mind control, and it would have still made sense. No, I disagree. But we're not gonna. No, we're not. We're not continuing. That this. argument That's lasted like saying. weeks. Yeah, it's still going on. <laughs> Apparently, because you're still wrong. You stoke the embers of it. Anyways, that's the wrong word. Yeah. Um, the uh, flames. You would be no, stoking the flames. No, the coals. It's also. I can't think of the word. What do you have at the end of a fire? What? Like when all of it burns down and you just have hot coals. But is there another word for it? Um, stoke. Are you... Are you the, <laughs> see what it comes up. Flames! Stoke the flames! Suck it! I don't want to be your Google search history. <laughs> <laughs> stoke the flames magic card. Stoke the flames wizards of the coast. Oh, that is a magic card. What's it do again? I don't know. Look at the picture. No. It's just the same picture over and over. Yeah. It's like when I search up album art for Ailstorm. Convoke. Your creatures can help cast this spell. 
Each creature you tap, tap well, casting the spell, pays for one or mana of that creature's color. Uh, Stoke the Flames deals four damage to a target creature or player. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's not bad. Yay. Anyways. Magic the Gathering, am I right? Am I right? Am I? No, you're wrong. <sighs> that was a fun game. Man. I really liked playing it. Mm-hmm. Way so too expensive. Whole month. It was ex- It was like two, three. I did it for like a whole summer, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Except it wasn't summer. Yeah, it was. Last summer. Was it? Yeah. When you went with Jake places? On Friday nights? Yeah. Are you, I, that's, that's I thought weird that phrasing. that was during school. It was during school, and then I ended up going by myself a lot of the time during the summer. Oh. Oh, I didn't know you went during the summer. I, I didn't realize that you were I still did going for like, after that. I don't know, not six months, but definitely a couple. Long time. Long time, lots of money. Now you're broke. No. No, because now you have a job. You already I, had a job. Or you know what? Did I have a job? No, I didn't have a job at that point. Did you not? Wow, that was a long time ago then. <clears throat> well, maybe during the summer I did. Anyways. Anyways. So... Next movie, Filth. Yes. You watched that on Netflix. I watched it on Netflix. I watched like the first five minutes. Did you enjoy those minutes? Not really. Whatever. It was an awesome it's, movie. It's the first five minutes of a movie. They're usually That's usually just uh, like character introduction and stuff. It's not the most entertaining thing. It can be. It can be, but it Jason, wasn't. Jason, Hot Fuzz. First of all, have you seen Hot Fuzz, actually? No. <laughs> wow. I was just about to say, yes, that movie I know so well. <laughs> that's, uh... Inside that's and out. Dis- it's pretty disappointing. Basically, the first, f- first five minutes is character introduction, yes. But it's so fast-paced and really funny. So it's like that recap episode in Kill a Kill? That one I haven't seen. Finish Kill a Kill. Nah. It's a good show, finish it. I don't really want to. Why? Because it's not that great a show. It's a good show. Is it? Yeah. Is it really? It gets a lot of its inspiration from Gurren Lagann. Okay. Or I could just watch Gurren Lagann. No, I'm not going to do that again. Oh, man. The feel coaster. Too soon, Jason. Too soon. The feel coaster. It's like a comic I kill all over again. (laughs) So next on the list. So a comic I kill's over. Okay. Anyway, next on the list. Captain America 2. Yeah. You don't know. Still didn't watch it. Uh... I'd go as far as saying it's the best Marvel movie this year. Against yes. Guardians, X Men, Spider Man this year. Yeah, I think it was. Spider Man sucked, though. Stop ruining my rep! You're oh, Spider Man. So, so I used that. Huh? Used no, no, no. That was, that was when you got pulled over. Oh. And then Emmanuel said that. And I used it at work because <laughs> one of my supervisors is. Uh, she she plays games a lot, but oh, really? she like yelled over to one of the girls in coffee center. Jason's making fun of you or something. And I was like, Michelle, you're ruining my street rep. <laughs> Not my street cred. Yeah, yeah, it was street cred. Sorry. Whatever. Whatever. That's, Anyways, that's silly. Yeah, <laughs> and she was super. Uh, she thought that was super hilarious. She also thinks Sumiko is super hilarious. The story behind that. Okay. Also, you talk to people more than I do at work. Yeah. I do. Unsurprisingly. Well, sort of surprisingly. It's a much smaller smaller group than your work, though. Yeah. Like, I have my I have my group within there. You have a group? It, you. Boys. You have friends? Surprisingly, yeah. Cool. I mean, look at me. I'm looking. Oh, I'm hideous. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was about to make a comment about you being sexy. <laughs> and, so, then, and then you did that. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways. So the next movie I wrote down is Grand Budapest Hotel. Yeah. That that movie. That movie you definitely saw. Again. It's, uh, at this point, at like Golden Globes and Critic Choice Awards, it's uh, got a lot of noms. Neat. Nom, nom, nom. Lots of nom, nom, noms. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, almost, it's almost, West West. almost. Okay, good. Uh, Bad Words. That movie. That, that movie with I Jason Bateman. That was so good. I thought it was really good. 
I thought it was a pretty inventive creative comedy with a sharp wit and didn't get as much uh, recognition as I think it did, especially for Jason Bateman's first directing job. Well, Not you, Jason out. Bateman. The other Jason Bateman. I fucked it up. Thanks. You're welcome. Edit that out, Travel. It's at uh, 44, 42, something or another. That's that's not really going to be helpful. Write that down. <laughs> no. Uh, Lego Movie, we already talked about. Uh, and Jodorowsky's Dune, a fascinating documentary about the movie that was never made. Which, apparently, it might be getting made now. Mm-hmm. As an animated movie. Neat. Just not with the cast. A cast of Orson Welles, Salvador Dali, uh, with which would have had music by Pink Floyd. You don't care. I have no idea who you're talking about except Pink Floyd. They're a band I know. <laughs> yeah, they're a band I know. <laughs> they make music. That's right. <laughs> and uh, some stuff off the list, which I just haven't gotten to see yet. Most, like, uh, Boyhood. Um, Boys. Boyshood. <laughs> Boys in the hood. Uh, Boys no, in the, um, hood. the thing about Boyhood is uh, they've been making it for 21 years. They did, like, real time with this kid who grew up into a young man. That's a lot of years, bruh. I think it's 21. It's made by Richard Linklater. They've, like, had the same cast over this so many years, and they've just been filming every now and then. Oh, wow. It's a pretty cool experiment. Wow. And it's... Not disturbing you. Oh, wah! Anyways. Um, why did you do that? <laughs> I don't know. Just because I made another sound that reminded me of that. Okay. And uh, then, oh, I also wanted to see Frank, which looks cool. I saw it at Walmart, so I'll probably go pick it up. Because I love, love Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> so much love there. And, uh... What's the other one? Oh, Birdman. That's also getting a lot of attention that I haven't gotten a chance to see yet. Like from Sesame Street? That's Big Bird. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Same thing. Anyways. Uh, those are those are pretty much any movies you want to add? Nope. Can't think of anything. Super. Well, the thing is, I don't watch that many movies. Uh, without me. At movies all. Movies without me. I don't watch that movie in many movies with you either. Yes, you have an iPad, Jason. Not surprising. I also have an app. I have my app. You are an app. That's right. Shown you. Hmm. Meh. No. No. Lost it. Lost it. <laughs> that was that thing that you wanted to talk about before the movie? Yeah, I remembered it during the movies, too. I was like, oh, well, we're already on this, so I'll just finish this up and then discuss it. Gone. Um, Girl. That was a movie. How about you talk? Oh, right, so... <laughs> um, well, I attempt to remember this. Okay, um... Oh, man. So I watched All No Zero. Uh, Friday night and Saturday night. Oh, yeah, Friday night, Saturday night. Um, I remembered. Good. Because <laughs> you had nowhere to go. <laughs> I had Well, it was a good show. I was going to talk about how much I liked it. Okay. But no, go. No, go ahead. Go before you forget it again. But now I know what I'm going to talk about. No, just, just, right, just right, say right. it. All right. It was about... It was a long time ago. Definitely a half hour ago on the podcast. In a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> Where um, I, I was really talking good. about I'm doing good because I have finished up a couple shows. Oh, that's what you meant by you're doing well. Yeah. I finished up a couple shows. Like, I finished Madota. 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 I Anyway, you finished Madoka Magic, huh? And Monster. That was a lot of noise. No, I didn't finish Monster. What else did you finish? Uh, Red vs. Blue. I am actually all caught up now. Good mark. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm. I mm. when me and Ricky saw mm. Mockingjay, we had to mm. stop. Okay. We had a really good discussion about it. Well, at least up to season ten at that point, because that's what I had watched. Cool. So, 
it was is that it? Just those two? Yeah. Cool. Am I gonna have to title this Travel's Talks Too Much Part Two, the Travelling? No. Well, maybe because you kept <laughs> talking about freaking movies. <sighs> what? Bring something to the table, Jason. All right. Well, I was actually about to, which is that people are really mad about how Come Like a Kill ended. Oh, that's an anime. Yeah. That like nine it's... out of ten animes don't end the way you want them to. Actually, I don't find that that's a problem with me anymore. A lot of the time, like, I, I don't have a specific ending I want anymore because I know it won't happen. So you just don't care. So I just watch <laughs> and I see what happens. Thank you for describing watching TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... And then sometimes I think about it. Exactly. But yeah, so people were just super mad about how Comic-A Kill ended. Uh, which I think the, some of the stuff they're saying is just friggin' stupid. Okay, so without going into spoilers... I can't. Okay. I, 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 you, you can't, can, like, describe anything. I can't describe anything they're saying, because they're spoilers. Did somebody die? Yes. Did a lot of people die from your expression? Everyone died! Okay. <laughs> Except, like, three people. Whose names I will now tell out loud. Dumb. Oh, yeah. Uh, what like was when we talked about... And, uh, also... And, uh... Murnimer. Oh! Oh! Never mind, it was only two people who lived. Oh. That's so much better for everyone out there. Yeah. Especially so, when we talked about Gurren Lagann. I yeah. was like, yeah, that sad part happened. And then you dropped the name of the guy. Yeah. Well, one of the names of one of the guys. That specific point. Yeah. Anyway, but, yeah, so if you're watching A Comic A Kill... Be prepared. Be prepared. For many tears. For much sadness, and also keep guessing and try and figure out who's going to survive at the end. Make it a murder mystery. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, could, you could tweet at me if you want. Tweet at Jason. Tweet, tweet at... Uh, at Ace, Jason. At AcePilot000. Zero, zero, zero. Tweet at Jason Bateman. Official. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> tweet at official Jason Bateman uh, the <laughs> names of the two characters in A Coming to Kill you think are going to live till the end. And then you'll get banned from Twitter. That's not how it works. No. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so, I got you back into using Twitter. Kind I'm of. actually really excited about that. Yeah. I don't use it too much, but... Yeah. You're using it just... More than I was. Jason. Way more than I was. How many... Let's, let's do a reference. How many tweets have you made total? How many tweets have I made total? Not many. Like seven. More than seven. More than seven. Seventeen, <laughs> let's say. Okay. I'll look and, at them. Give me a second. Um, how many did you have before the other week when I got you back into Twitter? Me. You had like three, didn't you? I have you? 31 tweets. You have 31 tweets, and you had, what, three before? I don't know. Let's go down. Okay. Do, do retweets count? Yeah. Okay. Is this the bottom? Yeah. Yes. One, two, so, three. You're like five. Dude, this is all... This is 2014 12, never mind. This is 2014 10, which is about when I uh, stopped. So you have like maybe 10. Or 2014 5, rather. So I have definitely doubled your production of One, tweeting. two, three. Wait, this wasn't. Alright. Okay, here. Yeah, sure. this was, this was uh, September that I did like these ones. So this is where I started. After the pirate metal. Okay, I've definitely One, two, increased three, your Twitter. Four, five, Whatever. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Why, so did, I ask, why did I ask for specifics? Why did know. you ask for, for specifics? Yeah, about half since I started tweeting again after last week's podcast. I have a Snapchat. Let me just check that while <laughs> we record this audio podcast. Yeah, well, I can still talk while I'm looking at stuff, Chevelle. I'm, I am actually capable of that. Sure you are. I, I actually am, yeah. You're the one who's not saying anything helpful. Also, I am. Oh, just check your damn Snapchat. No, I'm not going to now. Get out of here! <laughs> Fight me! Everybody loves silence on an audio podcast. This, we've had a lot of silence this, this episode. This one was rather meh. Yeah. Um, not that many good stories. 
I just kind of rattled on about movies. Yeah, pretty much. Although we did tell the whole Sumiko thing. That was entertaining. Do we have any other good stories that we do can tell? Do you want to flash back to the moment when we told the Sumiko thing? Yeah, let's do that. So Jason made these cardboard people that scared the flying <laughs> farts out of me. Because the only F word is farts. And also f- furniture. Fernand. And fantastic. I wasn't on that previous list. You messed it up. I wasn't doing the previous list. I was doing a new one. Then why'd you start with something I already said? I don't know. Good question. Hey, do you remember that time that hasn't happened yet when we ended the podcast? (laughs) No. (laughs) (laughs) I won't let this end. Um, what if I make it end? I'll start it again. That's called next week. Oh. Although next week, you're gone! I am. Yeah. And your humbugness won't mess with me. I'm going to have the best Christmas podcast ever, even though it comes out on Boxing Day. <laughs> well, at this point, I'm hoping to record, like, um, Christmas Eve, maybe, with everybody. With the secret guests, who are totally secret and have so never been on this podcast before. Ever, I don't know who you're thinking ever. of, Jason. <laughs> I'm thinking... Oh, I just know it's not going to have you, and you won't. My be dad, to, you, yeah, I'll my dad's dad. going to be on the podcast next week, and we'll talk about Christmas and his mustache. Merry Christmas, Merry Mustache, <laughs> Mustache Christmas. I must ask you a question: <laughs> Can your dad be on the podcast? <laughs> Unfortunately, he's going to be a Jasper with me. Name drop. Whoa, 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 whoa. By the way, everybody, I'm going to be in Jasper whoa. next week skiing. Yeah, come try and find me. Suck it. <laughs> Come try and find me one other fan than Ricky, Jake, Emmanuel, and Andrew. Come on, Ricky, Jake, Emmanuel, and Andrew. Come try and find me. Anyways, Emmanuel has internet connection. Does he? He hasn't some... talked to me. Oh, he Jake. didn't talk to me either, but he was online on his 3DS at one point when nice. I was playing. We should send him messages then. Hey, Emmanuel. Send him massages, your time in, gotcha. How is your time in Chile? I got you this great massage coupon for when you get back so that you won't be so stiff. One free sexy massage from Jason. Whoa, dude, no, you're the one who does the sexy massages. It is known. I do the sexy baths. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're done. No. Happy birthday. Jason, there was, there was something else. Was there? I think so. Okay. Um, Christmas. Ah, uh, so much Christmas everywhere. I still need to do my Christmas shopping. Thank so do I. Ah, uh, uh, crap. Wait, I only have to buy something for my mom. What does my mom want again, Travel? Your mom wants Tea. season four of Game of Thrones on <laughs> Blu-ray. <laughs> of course. How could I forget? <laughs> Don't forget to get her a lava lamp as well. I have a lava lamp. I need to put my lava lamp up. You brought it? Yeah, I think. Did I? No. Never mind. Ah, It was a... What? Another day. Not today. But I'll get it and I'll put it up sometime. Okay. Also, tomorrow I'm going to play Minecraft with Austin and Ken. Your buddies. From work. Buddies from work. Working from buddies. That sounds wrong. Let's end the song. Did you make that up? Yes. Wow, or did you steal that from Rooster Teeth? Not made it up. Definitely sounds like a Rooster Teeth thing, but Oh, maybe I stole the jingle and tune. Yeah. But the the words were original, Jason. Okay. The words. Wait, wasn't the jingle like Gavin or Google? Yeah, that was totally the Gavin or Google jingle. (laughs) Yeah, I thought so. Okay, that's why I thought Rooster Teeth. Anyway. You mean you don't think about them 99% of the time? No, that's Ailstorm right now. Pirate metal. Kill all. You, you just stopped at the one word, Jason. Yeah, yeah. You like, you like even sang it. <laughs> like you're going to break into song, and then you're just like, kill but, all. But do you really want me to sing? <laughs> do you, though? I don't... Well, speaking of wind blowing, want... the ending of All Noah Man, that shit was so good. Jason, tag your spoilers. Wind blowing? I mean, jeez. <laughs> spoilers... There's wind blowing at the end of All No Zero. You're the worst. I said spoilers!
Also, people die. Ah, uh, TikTok. Thanks. Hey. I wasn't going to watch it, but, you well, know. even if you do watch it, I just said people die. People die in the first episode, Travel, so <sighs> it's good. I have no idea what that show's about, so it's, whatever. It's a mech show, actually. But it's a good one. Unlike Gundam Gurren Seed, Lagan. am I right? Oh. Um, oh. this is awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought that we were talking about, um, uh, um, uh, I'm trying to think of a mech show that I don't like, but I don't can't really think of anything off the top of my head. Because, I mean, lots, okay. of the, lots of the mech shows I've watched have been, like, well-used mechs. The only sure. one that pops into mind is, like, Full Metal Panic was kind of meh. meh. Okay. I was... Uh, dude, we need to, we need to watch shows. Yeah. Watch show. Okay. Let's watch Evangelion mm. right mm. now. Yeah, I know. But, counter argument, not counter argument, but... <laughs> <laughs> counter argument against... This is, this is something I've been mean to bring up for a while. Okay, bring it up. Jason? In front of everybody. In front of everybody. We need to break up. Yeah. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> <laughs> no. Jason. Oh, you don't want to break up? No, we're oh, still together. Oh, I love crap, you, bro. Crap, I love you. Damn it. <laughs> I thought this was my chance. <laughs> I want to get out of your grasp. I love Sumiko-chan. <laughs> Gay. How'd you find out about that? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, for reals this time. Devil meaning. Either I'm a girl or possibly Sumi Sumiko-chan isn't. Or the irony of the joke. You're an irony of the joke. Anyways, what's up? Are we ever going to get to this? Yes. Oh no! What's up? You like to interrupt. That's not what I'm bringing up about you, though. <laughs> hey. What I am bringing up is you. Do you binge watch shows? Like at all? Sometimes. Or is it only when you're watching shows on your own? Because it seems whenever we try to watch a show together, you're like one episode, and then you're like, "That's enough," even if it's really good. Yeah. Why? Why? You're thinking about Welcome to the NHK. You did it with Madoka too. That's true. I don't know. Welcome to the NHK is just because I can't get really into it. It's not one of those shows that I get really into and just watch episode after episode. Like, I like it, but I can't watch a whole bunch at once. I disagree. Anyways, that that's my thing. It's like, you, it's, you're it's not... It's an opinion thing. Uh, yeah, but I watched, big... I watched All No Zero in under 30 hours. <laughs> See, you... <laughs> It's weird, because you don't binge watch with me, and then I'm like, hey, you want to watch another episode? Because I want to watch another episode, because I'm really digging shows like Welcome to the NHK. And you're like, oh. nope. Nope. But no, the thing that confuses me more is like, uh, <laughs> we'd watch an episode, and you're like, uh, I don't want to watch another. And they're like, what do you want to do? You can just sit there on yeah. your iPad, yeah, I don't checking know. Facebook. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Is that you? So I guess you do binge watch. I do, yes. Just not with you. I see how it is. Good. I'm breaking up with you, Travel. Hi, I'm er. Well, I'm Travel. You can follow me at Askew Glasses, er at Askew underscore Glasses, where you'll find me crying on Twitter. <laughs> I'm sorry, Travel. I'm I'm Jason. You can follow me on Tumblr at acepilot00.tumblr.com or on Twitter at Glad. No. <laughs> yes, Jason. Acepilot000. All right. The end. No, not quite. Because oh. we need to plug some other stuff, which we should have been doing in the last couple. Plug? The website. You can right. find all these podcasts and more on... And more. One and other more. thing. One other thing. We should probably link my YouTube to it. We Just should. Just saying. Wait, why your YouTube, though? Because... But there's only one hardly working hippies related thing on your YouTube. Yeah, and it's now on I'm our YouTube. I'm still a contributor. I'm still, I'm still a contributor. You could, you could link stuff like your Tumblr. I whatever. could. Not whatever. Do. Oh, yeah. Ricky actually checked out my Tumblr. Because of the podcast. Yeah, I know. And then she found out I like free. Yeah, that was that was like episode two. Two. Yep. This is episode twelve, Jason. Ten episodes. Ten later. episodes for you to bring that up. So, why? Why not? 
Why'd you bring it up? You ask why, I ask why not? Hi, Jake. What? That was Jake in my thing. Oh, I thought you said hentai. What? You can also email us and contact us, at, contact the show at hardlyworkinghippies at gmail.com. Wait, why did you think I said hentai? I don't know, you're like, hi, Jay. Oh, hard hi, Jake. Hi, Jay. Hentai. Hi, Jay. Hentai in the Hi, Basement. Anyways, and it, I don't think I said the site, but hardlyworkinghippies.com. Find the podcast and more. Download. We'll be on iTunes soon. We think. We hope. We hope. We fight. To defeat the Hun. No, that was pretty bad. Uh, uh, redo. Um, uh, uh, t- we fight. Dang it, I can't think of a song to break into. Um... <laughs> Trebell, play rah, wha- rah, fight the power! Play, play wacky music. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>